Hey folks, this is Ray Higgins, the Big Atheist. Tonight's sermon will be about Star Trek and sci-fi in general, and the use of telepathy in other in such movies. A few years ago, I was uh, watching First Contact, and it occurred to me that there's something fundamentally wrong with the way that sci-fi treats psychic powers and stuff, telepathy, mind reading, all that good stuff. And it has to do more with how they're treated or in their science versus how everything else is treated in their science. Reality is, all of them, all treated as some mysterious, human-centered power that has no real relationship to physics or anything else. I mean, that, that goes from Star Wars to Elephant. It's some little weird little energy thing out there that has no related to anything else in the universe but still creates physical events. Which, of course, is really the same problem I have with religion in general, or, or theology in general, and all supernatural stuff. The reality is, if it was real, it would be real in the real world. Which is to say, it would have physics. It would have uh, stuff we could study and understand and use. Just about nothing in any of the sci-fi things do anything with science beyond develop it as some human power, as if that would be the only place that physics, that ability would come through. Reality is, if it actually existed and humans used it on a regular basis because it's predictable and actual real, it would actually be studied. In fact, I would suspect it probably would be studied much as uh, quantum mechanics and other unusual events and would probably actually be, should be something a lot easier to study. Because it's at a much higher level. You should be able to create it. You should be able to generate it. It should generate energy. It should, it, you should be able to see the mechanisms by which it works. Of course, reality is none of them come that way. So what you get in fiction, to include religion, is that all those miracles and metaphysics and all that good stuff is treated as some magic, as some piece that, that, that we cannot use as a technology but certain people can use as whatever, uh, which is just bullshit. I mean, I would really suspect if, if psychic energy really worked, that you would have seen Einstein and all the great physicists studying it more than studying quantum mechanics and all that. Because the reality is, if we can figure out quantum mechanics, and especially given that it is really not intuitive at all, it really People don't like it simply because it really doesn't make sense, but it works. And what's more, it probably is one of the most useful pieces out there because it has been able to generate more prediction. Uh, but the uh, reality is, if psychic powers are real, those mechanisms, those, those how it actually worked, should be discovered by us. And what's more, if they're discoverable, we should be able to use them. We should be able to use machines that use psychic energy, psychic powers, whatever. If we, if we can generate, move stuff with our mind, our minds are limited power. We should be able to add power to that and do a hell of a lot more with it. <laughs> if we can read other people's thoughts, we should be able to figure out how we decipher other people's brains, figure them out since they're all friggin' different, <laughs> and be able to use that to to encrypt, to computerize, to, to, to do writing. We should be able to write through psychic abilities, do a lot of other stuff that technology would teach us to do if we figured out how it worked, what mechanism it worked. So, like I said, all of, um, <laughs> it, really bring, really bring, it really came to focus when I was watching a Vulcan and thinking about the mind meld and all the other stuff and how it's all wrapped in religious, quasi-religious ceremonies and stuff like that, rather than being real science, which, if it really existed, would be a real science. And you say, oh, well, it's metaphysical, it's beyond the physical. No, there is nothing beyond the physical. What's more, if it's actually interacting with our physical world, it's physics. It would have physics. It should have physics, even if there's some dimensional stuff that, that included with it, the fact that it touches up would have to be part of physics. So, well, like I said, that's my rant for tonight. I'll talk to you more later. Bye.